All right, all you WSL frothers, final five, men's and women's. Who we got? Who we got? Ooh, I'm excited. Whether you like the system or not, it's exciting. WSL has done a great job of keeping the whole year exciting. You've got the cut and you've got top five and now you've got a one-day world title battle at Lower Trestles. It's a skate park kind of thing, so it'll, it's definitely an advantage for some. So let's go into the men's. Start us off. A little mention to Gabby. Just missing out by 710 points. That's one heat somewhere along the line. He could have made top five and qualified for the Olympics pretty much. So my heart goes out to old Gabby, but not really. He's won enough, hasn't he? Jeez. All those guys in the Olympics would be pretty froth and he missed out because he is lethal at chokes. So fifth place, I'm pretty biased with all this stuff because Jack Rubbo coming from WA, he had an incredible year. He won the first event. He won the last event of the year. He had a bad knee injury halfway through the year, which really affected his results. So is it his time to come from fifth all the way through to first? I think it might be a little bit far-fetched for him. He's got to come up with a couple of hot guys coming through. So my heart says he, he can't do it, but I really hope he does for WA's sake. Joel, he's come from not making the cut last year to top five. So I think he's going to be a little bit green around the gills to take the title. Ethan Ewing in third place. Wow. He's fought way back from an injury to, to be, I'm not sure if he's going to be ready for this event, but I tell you one thing, beware the wounded athlete. You see people with a little niggle or something always come through and shine and, uh, and take wins. So, but you know, if he's not hundred percent, it's going to be hard to beat. Griffin Colapinto, the wild, wild, wild card. He's my wild card pick hometown boy i've coached him before i'm frothing um i really hope he can make his hometown proud his mum and dad his brother the whole of the san clemente is going to be behind him i hope that doesn't get get to him too much we saw him freak out at the start of the year too much put too much pressure on himself so as long as the pressure doesn't get to him i reckon he's my underdog pick but philippe toledo is obviously the favorite and if you remember J-Bay final, um, high tide, really quick running J-Bay, almost really hard to do a turn and he was making it look incredible. So if the conditions are tough, which I think the forecast is looking four to six foot, um, he's going to be hard to beat no matter what. But if it's four to six foot, everyone's got a little chance. But if it's challenging conditions, he's going to be unstoppable. So, you know, with three wins this year, he is the man to beat for sure. So in the women's side, Steph Gilmore finished sixth, just outside the top five. Well, not just outside, really. There's like 8,000 points difference between sixth and fifth. So the top five was incredibly um, solid this year. Katie, rookie year, top five, won two events in really challenging conditions. So if Trestles is a little bit onshore, a little bit hard to surf, she could be really, really lethal. But she's still not my underdog pick, but keep an eye on her. Molly, she's the same uh, in the same boat as Joelle, coming from not making the cut last year to like top five. So she's confident, but I still think a little bit green around the gills for her to win. Caroline, I reckon she's my underdog pick. She's coming in hot with winning chokes. She won two events last uh, this season and a, full, a whole lot more confident this year. So uh, she's my underdog pick. Tyler in second. Oh, she's got she's a bit of a one-trick pony. I think that layback snap thing she's got going, but I think you need to have more in your bag of tricks at Trestles because it's more of a skate park. And Carissa, I think she's she's my favourite, obviously. Um, coming in number one seed, have to surf less heats, but um, she won three events this year. It's hers to lose again, pretty much. Um, I reckon she would have learnt a lot from last year, coming up against Steph, coming in hot into the finals and I think she'll be uh, hard to beat, that's for sure. So bet safely you guys and uh, hope you back a winner. Yee